up guys nick up here at maple motors in hendersonville tennessee in today's test drive a 1972 dodge dart 318 under the hood power steering doesn't look like power brakes i really love the color on this one too matching interior set of Krager wheels disc brakes in the front and the rear it's got the vinyl top dual exhaust out the back and of course I'm here to point out the flaws so I'm sure there's gonna be something that I see throughout the test drive you can look at the detailed pictures we have financing and shipping available for now let's get the hood down well let's see here good deal and we're gonna get ready here it's about that time Let's go for a ride. Glance around the interior, place your bets. Do you think the horn works? Cross the dash here. It's pretty good. Look around in the back. In your package tray and your headliner. Let's start her up. This one starts up pretty good. Sound like AC compressor kicked on. And it is blowing cold all of a sudden. So we do have cold air. Face to the CD player is in the office. Ashtray. Glove box. Touch up paint, manual shut back showing 35,000 miles on the dash hard to stand behind that it's a 72 model I mean wipers work turn signals left side right side horn what there's a button here below the dash though and the horn works okay guys we're gonna hit the road anything I find you'll know about it let's take off I am digging around here looking for the other part of the seatbelt. I don't think there is one. No, they've taken out the middle part there, so we need the other half. We have gas. We don't have to stop and get that. Uh, it, it was sprinkling. It's not now. So we're good to go. We've got dry conditions out here. Reverse, neutral, and drive. This is the first time that I've taken this down the road. So we're just gonna try everything out. The turn signal was a little close to my hand there. So I'll have to keep that in mind. Let's go. All right, speedometer's coming up on the dash there. And the car's going really straight. It's not pulling left or right. Steering's nice and tight. Getting at our brakes. They feel good. Back in the throttle. Of course, that's bad in there. Our passing gear does not feel like it's been hooked up. turned in here the curb pretty smooth bump right here pretty smooth over that let's go ahead and head into the parking lot here and we'll get some outside shots undercarriage stuff I'll light it all up so stick around I'll be right back
Oh, cool, man. Got set up here. We just did the walk around. Now we're going to head on back to the lot. She starts up good, man. So far, so good on this car. It's a piece of cake. Easy to drive. Really nice. When I did that walk around, I hardly found any flaws. They're there. Don't get me wrong. You're going to want to watch that, but it's hardly anything. I mean, this thing's really nice. All right. I know uh, I've said this before, but check the description. It's full of useful information. We also got merchandise down there. People call about shirts all the time. And if you haven't already, there's a little bit of a competition. It's in one of my videos. It, uh, helps me design the next style shirt we're putting out. It is such a nice day to be out cruising. speedometer seems to be pretty accurate all of our gauges seem to be pretty accurate too Response is fast. Oh, once you get going a little bit faster, I'm running about 35 now, and it says that we're going 45. So I think the uh, speedometer is a little bit fast. The more I pay attention to it. Blinker up there on the fenders working. That's on both sides too. It's funny we made that big loop. We were just right there. <laughs> check everything out and make sure she's running and driving good that's why I spend this amount of time doing it Nice little speed bump halfway down this road. You won't even notice it. You literally have to point it out to you. Right here. Just silky smooth. The brakes feel good. 
this car will will not be around very long i can tell you that it's one of those you can just get in and drive and not really have to do anything to we made it back to the lot again picking out the flaws is coming up next and check that description if you want any additional information thanks guys here to pick out the flaws let's get up close and personal and see what we can find coming around our front end a little scuff there real looks awesome somebody's definitely replaced this up there on the inside let's come down the side here tires are in great shape nice set of craggers these bottom panels look good little chips here in the back there front windshield looks good pretty clean trims good pillar yeah vent window seal has been replaced your chrome here looks good. Door handles also. Looking around on the vinyl top there, a little white at the bottom. Around our edges for bubbles or anything like that. I don't see anything. It looks nice and smooth and clean. back window also looks clean rear bumper on this one it's got some pitting little hazy marks magnet tag the seal around the trunk little spots on the edge there they're kind of spreading down in your trunk a little moisture so it is leaking a little bit got some over here too package tray spare tire moisture under there too it needs to be dried up it rained a lot last night. And of course, we don't hide anything, so this one leaks. And down with the trunk lid. That's a nice, tight sounding shut, that's for sure. Trim's been replaced on the back. Those have some light little scuffs there. This is just dirt we've picked up, a little dust. I don't know. Somebody must have a fire around here. It's like ashes. A little scratch there. A couple little bubbles here on this edge. And down this side. A little mark here in the back. It's like a run. Little bubble here on the side, right in front of it too. 
get two of those little bubbles. Chip there, really small. mark right there and there scratch that might come out touch up mark here end up top bit of pitting on the door handle. Vent window's in good shape. Front window on this one, also in good shape. Seal, same thing. Pillar. Little stuff inside this pillar here. Final top. Somebody's replaced it. It looks great. Made it around the outside. Open up the interior and check it out now. jam there trim nice and clean seat looks awesome see they even got the protective mat there on the floor package tray and headliner in this one headliner's got a couple little spots there a little wear but I mean really I'm leaving it alone just little stuff like that. It's in decent shape. And below the dash. Start it up. Starts right up. Pretty clean, pretty good up under the hood. Of course your edges are doing good there. They look clean as well. Motor is nice and quiet on this one. Just get rid of the hook up there. It down with the hood, a little stiff, and of course this one here, you got to slam, or it won't shut. 
looking around your edges. You got more like ashes or something that are falling out of the sky that's confusing me. I keep thinking it's chips, but it's not. All right, guys, made it around this ride. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Share this video. That helps me out quite a bit. Detailed pictures, finance, and shipping. MapleMotors.com. We've been there 40 years. You can check it out anytime. Every single Monday, we update with new rides. And I do this every day for a living. So hit subscribe and share, guys. Thanks.